Alright, today I'm going to show you how to use the histogram transformation function uh, as well as the uh, screen transfer function and basically what they do is they stretch your image so you can see the data. Um, I'll show you a couple ways how you can stretch it uh, so it's non-permanent and then stretch it so it's permanent uh, and, the sh and the ways that I like to do it. So we'll do that. We'll start off with using, uh, this, here's a narrow band. Uh, hydrogen alpha of the uh, elephant trunk nebula. So the first way you can just, starting off, if you want to just temporarily stretch your image so you can see what you're doing and see what data is there, simply press control A. Press control A, you can see it comes up. And this green mark right here, this green line, is basically saying that that's temporary. It's not actually stretched. Uh, there's nothing is done with the, the histogram yet. Um, another way you can do this is to use the screen transfer function. Click the image you want and simply press this auto stretch button right here. Um, looks like a radioactive symbol. Alright, um, now if you want to permanently stretch your image, you're going to do the histogram transformation. easier to look at. Okay, so now let's so you're starting off with your image here. You want to completely stretch it. You select the view. So this is the image you're working with. And then if you'd like, this is a this is the really easy way to do it, to do an easy permanent stretch. So you're going to stretch the image, drag this down to the bottom here, and that just basically takes what's here and throws it into your histogram transformation and that's really all there is to it so you just uh, you can see the uh, preview here so it'll look like really white in the preview what you'll want to do is just to reset it up here on the screen transfer function otherwise it has it doubly stretched alright and then you can just press the apply button oh, that's the uh, preview so and then here's our stretched uh, image this is permanently stretched. You can see there's no green line here. Now it's done. Um, so here's another way. This is the way that I like to do it. I'll show you here. Let's go back. So I don't use the screen transfer function at all. Um, what I like to do is I like to pull up the preview here, make it as big as I can get it, and then I just stretch it myself. I do a because that way you can have a little bit more control over it. Sometimes with some images, if you do the automatic stretch and just let it figure out how to stretch it for you, then it ends up stretching it too far and it'll end up stretching uh, your image so you have more noise and you don't want to do that. And so um, if you find that you're getting a lot of noise, what you can do is stretch it manually. I recommend stretching it manually if it has, gives you a better understanding of what you're doing. All right, so we'll do that. So basically, you'll just take, leave this one alone, leave this one alone for now. Never touch, never touch this far right slider. Touch this middle one. All right, so you're just gonna drag this all the way over here, and you'll start to see your image line up or lighten up and come into view up here. This is what it looks like. Your histogram looks like now, um, and then you'll just apply that, reset, and then you can continue to stretch if you'd like, or you can. Okay, so let's stretch that. And then you notice right here, this flat edge, this is uh, all the dark area that's been stretched. And you don't need the dark area to be stretched. So we're just going to slide this back this way. You know, don't want to clip anything. Um, and a way that you can tell if you're clipping your blacks is what it's called, if you ever hear that phrase, clipping your blacks. Avoid that at all costs because it just makes your picture look bad. Um, so, and the way you can tell how much you're clipping is right here in this shadows area. So this number on the left, this 192, that's how many pixels I've cut out of my image. So I've, those pixels are completely removed, that data is gone. Uh, and this is the percentage. Now I have uh, millions of pixels here, so 192 isn't that big of a deal. So I'm not worried about that. Even, even a couple thousand isn't that big of a deal. So you can see, you know, going here, you're not going to tell that much. And even zooming in, if we were to zoom in over here, you wouldn't really see 
uh, you could still see data there. You wouldn't see that any pixels have been cut. But just uh, keep in mind that you really don't want to cut that data out because that's, that's valuable data. Um, so you don't want to do that. All right. So this was a manual stretch, so we'll just apply that. And then we're good to go. And that's how you uh, stretch your image, uh, both temporarily and permanently. Hope this, hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for watching.